I realize plants uh, climbing on the side of a building look great. Kind of gives you gives you some type of a Mediterranean feel or something. But we've got to keep in mind that these plants could do serious damage um, to our homes. And uh, this is a good example of something that could get out of hand. You've got the vines going into a large vent that could be um, in the room, something you could see from the inside of the room, but more than likely it's going into the attic. You know, it's here's a vent that's in the attic and it's, it's for one, it's supposed to allow air to go in and out of the attic and circulate through so that you don't get a moisture buildup or accumulation of moisture in the attic and of course it helps to cool it off um, also and if this plant uh, grows for a little while longer there's a good chance it'll block this the entire vent plus it will start to grow into the interior of the building and then we also have the plant starting to block the doorway and again I'm just saying it's starting to and, and, and I'm not not trying to make a mountain out of a molehill um, you could grab a pair of cutters and uh, clean this up in a few minutes that's the door but the upper area where the vent is um, you're going to have to cut a few sections is grab a ladder and clean this baby up so um, it, the, Situations like these, I'd also like to point out that if you think that um, something like this can't get into a small crack, uh, you'd better think again. I've seen them go through the smallest cracks and um, eventually separate blocks, roof rafters, um, door jams, you name it. Um, it'll actually start to put pressure on it as these vines get larger in size, the diameter of the vine itself. So. Yes, something like this could do some damage and you should think twice before allowing something like this to get out of hand.